Scene script. Have you ever felt trapped in a relationship that feels like love but is actually harmful? Welcome to the complex world of trauma bonding, a phenomenon often mistaken for love due to its intricate dynamics. You see, trauma bonding is a cycle that oscillates between abuse and intermittent reinforcement. Imagine a relationship where you experience periods of positive reinforcement, like compliments, affection, or gifts. Sounds lovely, right? But then, these pleasant moments are abruptly followed by periods of negative reinforcement, such as criticism, insults, or even violence. This roller coaster of highs and lows can be incredibly addictive, leaving you constantly hoping for the next good period. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone get stuck in such a cycle? The answer lies in our brain chemistry. Believe it or not, abuse can trigger a release of dopamine, the same neurotransmitter that floods our brains when we experience pleasure. This can make you feel a sense of euphoria or excitement, further reinforcing the trauma bond. However, it's not just about the highs of dopamine. Fear and dependence also play a significant role in trauma bonding. The person on the receiving end of the abuse may feel a need for the abuser, as if their survival depends on them. The fear of what might happen if they step away from the relationship can make it incredibly difficult to break free, even when they're aware that the relationship is unhealthy. Furthermore, those caught in the web of trauma bonds often grapple with low self-esteem and harbor a negative view of themselves. This not only makes them more susceptible to abuse, but also makes it harder for them to leave because they may not believe that they deserve better. Lastly, a lack of support can exacerbate the situation. Victims of trauma bonding often feel isolated and alone, doubting whether anyone would understand or believe their story. Trauma bonding is a powerful and addictive cycle that can be difficult to break free from, but understanding its dynamics is the first step towards healing. Stay tuned as we delve into the factors contributing to trauma bonding in the next segment. Why do some people become trapped in trauma bonds? It's a question that perplexes many, and the answer lies in several intertwined factors. First, let's talk about fear and dependence. In a trauma bond, the victim may perceive their abuser as a lifeline, a twisted beacon of support. The thought of losing this individual, regardless of their harmful actions, can instill a deep-seated fear. This fear, coupled with a misguided sense of dependence, can keep the victim tethered to the relationship. Next, we have the factor of low self-esteem. It's not uncommon for individuals in trauma bonds to harbor a negative self-image. They may feel unworthy of love, respect, or kindness, and this belief can make them more susceptible to the abuser's manipulative tactics. The abuser may exploit this vulnerability, further deepening the trauma bond. Intermittent reinforcement, a cycle of abuse and occasional positive reinforcement also plays a significant role. Imagine being in a relationship where praise and affection are followed by criticism or violence. The unpredictability of this cycle can be addictive as victims often cling to the hope of experiencing the next good period. This pattern can create a powerful attachment, making it harder to break free from the bond. We also have the dopamine factor. Surprisingly, abusive situations can trigger a dopamine rush in the brain, the same neurotransmitter released when we experience pleasure. This rush can lead to a sense of euphoria or excitement, further reinforcing the trauma bond. Lastly, a lack of support. Victims of trauma bonding may feel isolated, believing no one will understand or believe their experiences. This isolation, combined with the absence of a strong support system, can make it even more challenging to leave the abusive relationship. These factors, fear, dependence, low self-esteem, intermittent reinforcement, dopamine rush, and lack of support, all intertwine to contribute to the formation and maintenance of trauma bonds. They create a complex web that can seem impossible to untangle. These factors can make it incredibly difficult to leave a trauma bond, but it is not impossible. If you're in a relationship that you suspect is a trauma bond, what can you do? This is a question that many individuals grappling with this complex and painful situation often ask. The answer lies in seeking professional help. A qualified therapist can be a lifeline in such circumstances. They can provide a safe space for you to explore the dynamics of your relationship, helping you to understand the cycle of abuse and intermittent reinforcement. Therapists can also guide you in recognizing the role of dopamine in your relationship and how fear, dependence, and low self-esteem might be contributing to the bond. Importantly, they can help you develop a plan for leaving the relationship safely. 
If you're feeling isolated or believe that no one will understand or believe your situation, remember that therapists are trained to provide support and validation. So reach out, seek help. Remember there is help available for those trapped in trauma bonds. You are not alone and you deserve better.